1955, Art Clokey created the hit TV series using claymation or clay animation. His titular character, Gumby, was an adventurous character and has done a lot of cool and interesting things during the duration of the show. But often he would make rookie mistakes. Gumby, clean up your mess and put back the milk. Now, if you're confused why I'm talking about a green clay character in a 1950s TV show on a climbing YouTube channel, the chances are you haven't been exposed to the climbing slang, which brings us to today's question. What is a Gumby? In Wikipedia's climbing terminology, a Gumby is defined as a new climber. Originates in the 1950s in reference to the claymation character Gumby's bumbling style of movement. Now, in recent years, the term has evolved a bit and it's no longer just comparing the clay figure's movement to novice climbers. But it's used to describe any mistake, as deemed by certain members of the climbing community. Calling someone a Gumby is not a foreign concept, as you may have heard it as Greenhorn in some cultures, Patser in chess, or Noob in the world of video games. I've scrounged the internet and found some defining traits and mistakes as deemed by certain members of the climbing society that makes someone a Gumby. In this picture by Adam Naura, a Gumby is seen having a crooked helmet, school tank top, survival bracelet, blaze certification card, janky rental harness, basketball shorts, socks, aggressively sized non-aggressive shoes, and their wallet keys phone on the floor. From climbing.com, a few mistakes that Gumbies are seen doing are bouldering with the harness on, playing with your rock shoes on or taking them halfway off and standing on the heel, campusing up jugs in the bouldering cave, and putting on your harness, quick draws, and helmet in the parking lot. But the term Gumby has gone beyond the blanket definition of a novice climber. There are subcategories of Gumbies as seen on Rock and Ice Magazine website, such as Trad Gumby, Dino Gumby, Sport Gumby, Mountaineering Gumby, Crooked Helmet Gumby, Ice Gumby, Mix Gumby, Old Gumby, and many more. There are plenty of memes about Gumbies such as these. In this meme by Bomber Climber Memes, they showed the character Gumby stretched out and talking about free solo, buying a trad rack unnecessarily, brag about blazer, and buying shoes that are too big. And this one also by Bomber Climbing Memes, Boulder Bro does a double dino on a V1. And the Gumbies are completely amazed by it, even though a V1 is relatively lower on the climbing grade scale. In this meme by More Climbing Memes, it describes the experience showing up to the gym after your first outdoor trip. From Chossy Memes, sending the V3 in front of a bunch of Gumbies, the cat is the god up here. There are none other than the cat. Now, if you're watching this video, you might be asking the question if you yourself are a Gumby. But here's the thing, everyone has been a Gumby at one point, we've all started somewhere. I think there's quite a bit of ego in climbing, and when we see someone making a rookie mistake, or in often cases, even an aesthetic mistake, we're quick to call them a Gumby. I believe that the biggest Gumby mistake is not teaching newer climbers correct etiquette or safety rules. If they're not climbing V10, if they're not wearing the standard clothing a climber wears, or just a bit quirky, I think it's completely okay. Making sure climbers are following safety rules, being respectful, and having fun is what matters here. I've been a Gumby before. I admit I've made some rookie mistakes, but through listening and trying my best to learn, I've gotten a lot better. Of course, I still make plenty of mistakes, but I'm trying to improve every time I climb. I think it's important for those who are already established climbers to help and build up the new and incoming climbers together. So the next time you hear someone being called a Gumby, don't be afraid to reach out and help them. Obviously, try and do it politely, but in the future, I hope that there are more climbers having fun and of course, crushing it. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to write down in the comments below a rookie mistake that maybe you have made. I'm sure all of you have really funny ones and I would love to hear them. Personally, I was once told when I first started climbing that when you get a flapper, that it's tradition to eat it and it's good luck and pretty much every climber does it. Turns out, 
that's uh, not true. Anyways, hope you guys are out there being safe and as always, keep crushing it.